Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash Crafter and welcome to my channel for another episode of Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft. So we're back and this is where we are. So this is the starter house that we built in the last episode. A lot of you guys seem to really like this starter house. It was just a cute little tiny starter house and honestly I've been enjoying it so much. You guys know that in the last episode we did have to start over in this new world. But honestly, I'm loving it. I'm re I am really, really am. And what we are going to be doing in today's episode is going to be pretty fun. So I'm really excited to get into a little bit of a bigger build today. And there's a few things that I want to do before we do that, though. We got to get some things done. So first thing I want to do is I want to head over in this direction. I want to show you guys I started a mine and I found this crazy, crazy mine shaft. It's huge. Like, I... I was getting lost in it and then I ended up dying which was not fun but I found this huge mine shaft and I wanted to show you guys because like I was just mining to get iron because I'm really really low on iron right now and I hit this and then I looked over I was like ooh mine shaft cool it kind of goes off in a bunch of different directions and I don't have any food on me guys like I have like no food right now so we are actually going to do farms as well to start off this episode but I wanted to show you this because it's pretty cool and I actually found a skeleton spawner and I think a spider spawner. There's a spider spawner like somewhere pretty close to here I thought. Oh, we're going to have to come back and uh, kind of take a peek around that more but uh, we got some other things to do in today's episode so I'm not going to worry about that right now. What we're going to be starting today's episode with is starter farms or just you know basic little farms I have my pen set up here I wanted to make this easier on us because these aren't gonna be super fancy or anything don't be expecting anything too crazy I do have my little wheat farm and my carrot farm this is actually really nice because like I said I've been super low on food guys like so so low um, so this is something that just kind of needs to be done but I wanted to do it with you guys on camera. We need seeds, we need carrots, and we need wheat. And we should be pretty good here. So we just got to find some animals. And I think cows are going to be the easiest because they're right there. So easy peasy. Cool. Okay, so we got this guy. We'll bring him on over here. And this should be pretty quick. This shouldn't be anything too wild. I'm just going to start off with a few cows, a few sheep, a few chickens. And then we'll just kind of mass breed and get as many as we possibly can. I want to make these pretty big so that I can fill these up with animals and get lots and lots of food because I've already said it. I know I've already said it, but I have no food. I have no food right now. It's been, it's been bad. So there we go. We have got three cows, which is actually going to start us off pretty good here. So we'll just leave. We could even, oops, we got the advancement for that. Awesome, awesome. I'm so used to um, calling them achievements. I haven't gotten used to calling them advancements yet. Advancements. We got an advancement. So we're going to get this cow over too. Might as well. Then we can breed him up again. And the sun is setting, so we got to be super careful here. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't come out. Awesome. Okay. So then there should be two, yeah, those guys that I didn't feed before. And we've got ourselves two babies. So that's a really good start. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sleep really quick just so we don't have to deal with mobs while we're trying to do our animal things. Um, so let's take a sleep. Take a sleepy here. So I know we have sheep and I know we have chickens in this area, but I'm not too sure about pigs. So we're really going to have to go on a scavenger hunt and find ourselves some pigs here. But let's see. Uh, I saw a sheep over here. It looks like we have llamas too. Oh, there's a pig right up there. Awesome. Okay, sweet. So it's not going to be as hard as I thought, right? We've got one sheep. And usually what I like to do when I'm bringing over animals is I kind of like to do one at a time or, you know, two or three at a time. But I never try to get like really, really big heaps at one time because I feel like you just end up losing half of them anyway. So uh, we got this guy coming and then there's one more up there that we can use to start breeding. And there we go. He's in. Awesome. We'll do some of that and then let's go grab the other guy. So this is pretty easy. Um, I used to struggle so, so hard with animals. They were something that I just didn't really get when I first started playing Minecraft. I was like, how do you do this? How do you control them? And ooh, we have two up here. Um, but I feel like over time, since I've done this, 
like multiple times I've gotten a little bit better about um, about herding the animals into their pens and things like that. They lost interest and this is the hard part. When they lose interest, it's like kind of hard to get them back. Okay, there we go. And now this guy lost interest, okay. So I'm gonna get these guys in their pen and then we'll start kind of working on the other animals as well after that. One thing I also want to mention is that a lot of times two will get stuck like this where they can't decide which one wants to go in. So what I like to do is just kind of pop back out and then come back in, kind of pop back out. And then sometimes you can push one and then they'll decide which one wants to go in, but sometimes they won't. This cow is just causing problems. And he comes right on through. And another trick, if you guys are kind of having a hard time with animals too that I figured out, is if you make a large enough pen, stand all the way at the back of the pen, straight directly um, where your fence gate is like this, and they'll usually want to walk on through. So. Um, if you're standing like right here, usually they won't want to come through, so try to stand all the way to the back. And then if they seem to be like going back and forth, kind of wiggle. Like if they're on that side, come over here and then go to the center. Or if they're on the right side and you want to get them to come to the left side, go to the left side. And then once they hit that center point, move back over to the center and they'll come through the gate. It usually works, but sometimes it doesn't. It's just kind of a... I don't know, the animals are difficult. Two sets of animals left. I think we've got one pig here. I'm not sure if I saw another one, uh, but we just want to bring this guy down. He's being really, really cooperative, which is so nice. Um, all right, come on, guy. Super easy. You can have a carrot just for being so great to me. And then let's go see if we can find one more pig because we want to start our farms here uh, really, really strong. So if we can get at least two of each animal, that would be really good. There we are, guys. I see one. Oh, we've got one here, too. Okay, let's see if we can get both on this one. Just so we could have a little bit extra. I really, really like those llamas. I would love to get ourselves some llamas, too. But I kind of want to have a special village for that. So I don't know if this village... I think this village is going to be more horses. Uh, llamas would be cool, but... I don't know, I think I want to start out with horses, because then you can ride them, and you can take them places, and things like that, so we should, we should probably do horses. Check these out. The pigs have got to be the most cooperative of any Minecraft animal. I'm loving this. This is so cool. So here we go. We're just going to open up the gate, and I like to head all the way to the back, and you can see they come right in. They follow you directly in, and we'll breed them up a little bit. So then the last ones we need are chickens, and... Let's see here. I saw some off in this direction. So we want to grab ourselves some seeds. And we've got kind of a longer journey on this side. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I was like, I could have sworn I saw some over here. So we've got this guy. And I do want to grab this egg. Actually, I have a few eggs back at the base too in the starter house there. So uh, we could always use eggs to get baby chickens as well. So we are just gonna bring these little guys over and hopefully they cooperate. They seem pretty good. So every, this is going smooth. This is actually going pretty smooth. I feel like it doesn't go this way a lot of the time, but pretty good guys. Cool, there we go. So they're both in, we'll breed them up and we'll even throw this egg down just to see. And there we go, we've got a baby chicken. So we are off to a super good start. Now I know that uh, we don't have too many. We only have like two or three or four of each, which honestly is okay. That's I think that's a pretty good start. At least we can breed them up and get more in the future. So one thing I wanted to do really quick was I wanted to grab my eggs in here. So I have six and then I don't really have, I have some carrots, but it's not even worth it. I'll just start, um, I will just start kind of doing these small farms off camera too. We're not going to do anything too big over here because I don't think I really want to go farming village with this. I just want to go more like marketplace, big village. Like, I don't, I don't even know, honestly. I don't think I really want to label my villages yet because I feel like when I put a label on like what kind of build style I want to do, then I feel obligated to like only be creative in that build style and not branch out and try something new does if that makes sense so for this i just i just want to be free i just want to build like whatever feels right and whatever looks good so i'm not limiting myself to a build style quite yet 
Um, maybe in the future for like new villages we'll do that. But for right now I just want to kind of keep my options open I guess you could say. Awesome. So this is the first thing I wanted to do in this episode and we've already got it done. So that is great. It is becoming nighttime again. And the next thing I wanted to do was actually go and explore a little bit. I haven't really explored this world too much, so that is what we're going to do. So I also wanted to come in and mention that I just made myself some iron armor. So we are fully suited up, which is great. And then I also made myself some extra tools because what we're going to be doing is we are going to be going and finding some some sand we need to get glass for our build that we're working on today so i do need myself some sand and holy moly guys i have one thing of steak okay now i have three three things of steak which is good but i just need food like crazy i just want to find myself a desert and i think we're gonna head off in maybe this direction yeah i think we're just gonna head off in this direction kind of something over this way now i haven't explored this world like at all i haven't been off past this direction so I'm not sure what we're gonna find but hopefully we can find something good and get ourselves into a desert somehow and possibly maybe even find a village check it out guys right through the trees here we have a village so I'm super excited let's see let's head over and see what we can find let's get the sheep first just because I, I need the food I need any food I can get in this world this crazy world um, I will take some potatoes uh, we will we will grab these up and we'll replant as well. We won't leave this place looking all crazy um, Okay, where do we want to go? We just want to check this out. I guess it seems pretty small um, But there are a lot of villagers here. So this village isn't too exciting. Honestly, I don't even see a librarian I feel like that's just my luck. I never find librarians They're never in any of my villages. I have no clue why um, super strange, but yeah, so there's nothing crazy here. We've just got some, you know, weaponsmith uh, guy here. Again, I don't see a librarian. We could potentially use this village as a villager breeder when we start making one of those. But it doesn't have anything too exciting. No blacksmith, no librarian. Um, nothing too crazy. So we're just going to kind of move on. We got everything that we needed here. And I think... I haven't run into a desert yet. I've kind of just been working my way off in this direction to see if we could run into anything. And so far, nothing. <laughs> um, which is okay. We have found a mesa. This is so exciting. And it comes with a little bit of sand here, so that's good. But we found a mesa. This is so great. Um, I'm excited about this because I do like using clay blocks a lot in my designs. So this could really, really come in handy. I think um, I kind of want to just take a peek around. And this could be really, really good too for finding gold. We can make a golden mine shaft, which would be so cool. And we could get loads of gold now. Okay, so I have 14 raw mutton, but I don't have a furnace with me. Or any coal to smelt. We could use the wood though, which would be fine. Whoa. Okay, so I'm just going to keep heading off in this direction. Um, the mesa isn't exactly what we were looking for, so I do kind of just want to keep on heading straight. But this is really good to know that this is here because, again, this is probably somewhere we'll want to come in the future. Found it. We have found ourselves that desert we were looking for. So this is sweet. This is fantastic, actually. Um, so, whoa. Whoa, crazy minecarts down there. Something, something weird is happening. But we do have a mine shaft here, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't really want to, uh, okay, spawner, um, we're not gonna, this is actually really cool. There is a, quite a large mineshaft system going around this mesa, and there was a spawner right in there, so I kind of want to take down the coordinates of this. So, we, we've got a desert here, which is what we wanted. I just want to get myself a lot of sand, because I want to make some concrete, so this is a block that was introduced in 1.12, which is what we're playing in right now. We're playing in 1.12, and I love the new concrete blocks. I think they're so cool. They give that flat look. Like, I almost feel like the hardened clay, it's really nice. Oh, we got another village. Um, but like I was saying, I feel like the hardened clay still kind of has a texture to it, but the concrete doesn't, which is what I like. So, okay, let's see 
what we've got here. Things are looking good. We have a blacksmith already, which is awesome. A saddle. Yes. Okay. We've got two saddles. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Some food. I will take that. Oak saplings. I'll even take those. Why not? Um, and then I always like to see if there is a librarian because, you know, those mending books are always nice to have. So, um, again, not really seeing any. See, I told you guys, I have the worst luck. Like, this village doesn't have a library in it or a librarian. Uh, no white coats whatsoever. So, I don't know what it is with my luck and you know, librarians and things like that. But I am actually going to use these furnaces to get myself some food because we are not doing so hot on the food. Um, so let's just do that. And while my food cooks, I am just going to use this time to get myself some sand. The whole reason we uh, made this whole journey out here. So I'm glad we found this village, but... I need to get myself some sand. So this is just going to take me a minute. And then I think what we'll do is we'll head back to the base and we are going to start this build. I'm so excited. We are going to be starting a storage system. So I know that storage can kind of build up pretty quickly. And then you always end up with no place to put your stuff. So I kind of was thinking we should just handle that right off the start. We could just make a really nice storage system here and should be pretty good so that is what we're gonna do i am just going to leave you guys and i will come back once we are back on the road home i've found another village another one this world is full of villages this one actually has a library so i'm sure there's a little librarian running around somewhere here but we also have a blacksmith so another awesome place to get loot and check it out guys we got a diamond and I don't think I mentioned this earlier in the episode but I actually have found a diamond I was down in that mine shaft that I showed you guys earlier and I found a diamond in one of those chests down there so pretty cool um, I'm just getting rid of some of the stuff I don't need right now so we'll put that away because um, I'd rather have those items but let's check out this library up here uh, hello can I get up here cool okay sweet so a lot of me really wants to take these books. I have a lot of items on me that I really need though. So um, I guess we'll get rid of the wool because we're starting our farm back at the base. So we don't really need wool. Um, that's fine. I'd rather have the books anyway. Do I have beetroot? I do have beetroot. I totally do have beetroot. So I'm not going to grab that. Uh, I want to see if I can find one more library so I can maybe get some more books. Books are always good to have because then we can start enchanting which would be very, very nice. Um, I think we're just going to have to break our way in. There we go. The door is here, but yeah, you, can, you can't get through that door. So I do want these books. I'm sorry, librarian. I am taking your books. I'm in much need of them. We are going to start enchanting soon, guys. I'm so excited. He just ran for He ran for it. He's like off over there. Look, I'm heading off to the base right now while I'm trying to. Trying to find where the main base is. Ooh, this looks crazy. So, I will meet you guys back at the base. I don't think there's anything too exciting other than villages, but um, I think we've already seen a, we've already seen a couple in this video, so uh, you guys have seen a lot of that. Uh, if it has a blacksmith, I'll be sure to come back and show you guys, but I will meet you at the base because we got to get our build on. For real, I'm so excited for this build. And I think you guys are going to like it. So I got to get some stuff done, but I will be right back with you guys very soon. So I have made it back home and I am just chilling. I'm kind of putting everything away that I got on our little adventure there. So let's see. Oh, 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 oh. I'll put our diamond away. I'm kind of running out of storage. As you guys can see, I'm already running out of storage. So this is a reason why I want to get the storage system up and running today in today's episode. Uh, because I just don't have a place to put any of this stuff. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to start building over here. So I'm going to be putting the storage area right here in this location. I thought it'd be nice because it's pretty close to the starter house. So we don't have to keep running back and forth uh, too much, which would be really good. I just want to fill this whole place up with really awesome builds. So I was thinking for this episode we could do a time lapse. I know you guys like my time lapses. I actually asked on Twitter not too long ago. I asked if you guys like them. And I think it was like 82% or something like that said yes. And then the rest said no. 
Um, no more time lapses, but you know, 82, that's still a pretty high number. So I'm going to stick a time lapse in here. It should be a pretty sweet time lapse. So let's get on, let's play the music, and let's get started. I get nifty just holding your hand. The storage house is now all done. I'm so, so excited to announce that this is done. Um, this is looking very, very cool, guys. I can't wait for you to see it. But first thing I wanted to show you guys is that I made some white concrete and some white concrete powder. Now, this is something that I never really messed with before for doing this build. I have never used the white concrete powder before and I think it's such an amazing block. I'm so, so glad that they added this block in because it kind of changes the game a little bit. Like, I feel like, you know, there is the hardened clay, but the hardened clay even has a texture to it, which I think can be nice in certain designs, but I love having just a solid white block to be able to play with. It's so cool. So what I've been doing is something like this to get myself that concrete. And you guys can see the difference here between the powder and then this concrete. And it's just so cool. I'm loving the new 1.12 update. I really do think it's something that I'm going to get a lot of use out of, especially this concrete. And I'm just, I'm pumped, guys. This is awesome. So there we go. We've got ourselves some concrete. I don't really need any more because as you guys can see, the house or not the house, the storage the storage place is now constructed. So this is what it's looking like. These giant trees are in the way. I'm sorry guys. I did kind of make a path leading up to our storage house here and then you guys saw in the time lapse that it was a little bit unfinished but I wanted to make the white concrete, make sure that's what I wanted to put in there. So this is what it's looking like. We can give a little bit of uh, some 360 action here. Let's head over here. There we go. I love it. I love it. I think it actually matches the starter house pretty well, which is kind of what I was going for. I want this whole area to kind of be on the same block palette, but not be the all the same build, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, I think this looks really nice. And once you get in, there's actually a lot of 
space for storage not a lot of space for walking around but there's a lot of space for storage which I think is really great um, I do like I like this roof detail this is something I've never tried before and I thought it looked really cool so it's kind of this double roof and the back part is a little bit higher than the front part um, but this is the inside so you guys can see bulk 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 storage this is where all of our storage is gonna be and I think I'm gonna put some upstairs as well I haven't really decided yet because I was gonna make this into a place where I could store all of my armor but it almost seems too big for that like I don't know exactly what I don't know exactly how I would do the layout for that but right now I'm just leaving it because honestly I have no clue what to do with it and then we can just pop down. Let's close that door so we don't get anything spooky coming at us because it is nighttime. Come on. There we go. So then right over here is the front entrance. Super easy. I just wanted to do a little potted plant. I am loving potted plants lately, like in my real life. So I thought, you know, put them in my Minecraft world because um, I really do like it. So then I just did these little torch frame type things. I've seen this for years and years and years. I've seen this for a really long time since I started playing. And I've never really done it in a world. I've, like I said, I've seen it before, but I just never really have thought to do it. But I thought this would be the perfect build to do it in because we don't have any glowstone yet or anything, but I wanted fancy lighting. I wanted something different than a torch. So I thought by putting these in, these would be a great addition these would look really good so I got two there and then one back here and then upstairs I think I just put torches then I've got some cauldrons with some greenery I think this looks really nice just to bring in some color because I feel like there's a lot of that um, brown and yellow from the wood textures the ladder the spruce there's a lot of brown going on and then we have this little splash of white and this little tiny splash of green so I wanted to bring the green in just to kind of break up that wood texture because it can be a lot when you're when you come in here and you're just like wow everything is brown and yellow so I think by adding the green it looks really nice and it just gives it this like splash of color which is great I just wanted to say thank you guys so so much for watching I really enjoyed this episode it always feels so awesome to be back doing a build and this is a build that I'm so proud of and so happy and I even have plans for the next episode so be prepared we're gonna be doing some really fun things I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like if you liked it again thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you in the next episode I hope you all have a very beautiful wonderful day I'll talk to you soon Bye, guys.